Hey everybody, it's Sarah from Bright Stitcher. Um, starting over. <laughs> Apparently, I use my laptop to record. And the app I have, Video Diary, Apparently, if I have something go off a bling in the background from a website, it stops my recording. It just it just went away. So that's okay. We're only a couple minutes in. All right. Hi, everybody. Okay. First thing first. Last video. I have this to give away. It's the chart and the leftover silk threads. Um, there were just two shades, two colors. Two threads completely with this kit. I have more than enough for another person to do this. And Karen Beasley, you are the winner. So if you would like to uh, message me either here or on Facebook, um, I can get this one out to you. And, okay, last video I said that should be the end of my stash because I am doing Stitch from Stash next year. Um, and I'm going to kit those up, I think, this coming week, maybe next weekend, maybe. Mm. Uh, because I'm seeing a lot of people doing some vi little videos of what they want to focus on next year. And like, you know, I could do that. And I can do that with a lot of my whips I have. So I'm going to do whips. I'm going to try to kit up a few things I have. I know I've got plenty to kit things up with. Um, but I'm going to do a little video on that in the next couple weeks because it's fun. It's just, just fun to kit everything together. That. It's cherry pomegranate crystal light. The off brand version. It's good. But I spilt it coming down the stairs. So it dripped on pictures that I have. What are we going to do? We put our Christmas tree up today. I now have a four year old asking if it's Christmas tomorrow. Is it Christmas tomorrow? Is it going to be Christmas? It's so long. I don't want to wait. It takes forever. And that is why I didn't want to put the tree up for another two weeks. Plus, we have the guinea pig cage right next to the tree. But we were able to finagle it. It fits. It works. I'm happy with it. So, I'll show you a picture. Look pretty tree. The girls picked this tree out last year. I used to have a big eight foot, seven and a half foot, something like that, tall, big, green, full, lidded tree that I bought when we bought this house. Not realizing, okay, our ceilings are eight foot, which I don't like. They're too low. And a seven and a half foot tree does not take into account the pace. So I could never fit a star because our tree at the top was like, nah, on the ceiling. So this is our, ooh, holy glare. There you go. There's our Christmas tree next to the big old guinea pig cage. But the girls are happy. We strung leftover Christmas lights from... Oh, and they decorated it. Everything's right there. And they keep rearranging. And they're moving everything from spread out to one branch. So there's like six different groups of five, five, five. Only one branch. So when they go to bed, I'm rearranging. Um, but they... Uh, yeah, they wanted to put it up. So they did all of it. I mean, we put it together. They decorated. They're happy. They're really happy. So, okay, I already pulled this out. So that was that. And then we have um, like old strings of lights that we found in a tub and then put them up in their rooms. Elizabeth has a loft bed that's like three and a half feet off the ground. She can play underneath there. We usually keep her baby dolls and stuff. And he strung lights up inside it. And then Abby has a big princess canopy bed that's just so cute. And he wrapped, we wrapped the strings around the top of that. So they're all excited. I have my own lights. You can keep them. I don't care. Okay, so this month I really tried to work on this. And I know there was something else. But I can't remember what it was. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, so that chart I had issues with. I believe I spoke about it last time. But there were 920 listed on the back. 920 is not on the inside. 977 is listed on the inside, not on the back. But there was another problem when I was stitching the pumpkins in the wagon. There's three shades of orange. The medium shade of orange 
when I'm stitching that symbol, that symbol is 977, golden brown light. No, 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 I'm sorry, 729, old gold medium. Gold, pumpkins, didn't work. What's wrong here? No, it's supposed to be 920, the number on the back that's not listed on the inside anywhere. So figure that out, complained about it on Facebook. What is going on? What is going on? Get it worked out. I'm like, okay, I think we're good here on out. And I think we are color wise. I think I've got that figured out. But then I notice after I stitch the border, I didn't stitch the top, no, the bottom and this side properly. They are supposed to go, you compare it to this line, they're supposed to go on the inside part of the photo bracket, not the outside line. Which, of course, I didn't realize it until I'd already stitched it. I said, nah, I don't want to mess with it. I'll just do the outside border. And I add a little row here, the branches, added a stitch of the R because they have it, you know, flush up against the border. Well, no big deal. But then I'm over here and I go, oh, if I do that over here, I would have to completely figure out an entire row of wagon wheel, pumpkin. I don't want to do that. So it's uneven. But you know what? Whatever. That's just how it is. I've started Mr. Turkey. Sorry, down there. And I'm putting it away till next year. I love this chart very much. But having. It's like the fates were against me stitching this thing. But I had no. I did the July snapshot. I had no problems with that one. So this just. Talk about not proofreading your charts before you publish it. So, that was that. Okay, oh, by the way, I did give this to my friend, and she did cry. <laughs> she teared up big time and put a picture of it on her Facebook, and then her husband commented that he's tearing up too. He was he loved that dog very much too. So, they're very, very sweet couple. I love them very much, and I'm glad they appreciate it. And since she sews, she appreciates homemade things. Okay, so I know I said in my last video, no stash, but I do have stash because things I ordered came in and my birthday was two days later and I got spoiled. So, yay. Okay, so this, no, starting last week and right for Thanksgiving, I started, I'm twice saying it, or maybe the week before. Could have been the week before. Because I wanted to start it, but, why is this, sorry, the middle of Santa is roughly right here, the edge of his staff, okay, on the, this side. Can you believe I didn't have any of the colors surrounding that area, except the Krynik? So, I was only missing like nine colors, maybe. And I just couldn't believe it. Like, really? Really? So, this is what I have done. I did go to Hobby Lobby a couple days later and pick up. But, yeah. So, the Kranich, the blue, that was all I stitched the first day. Like, that's enough <laughs> for Kranich to be the only things I put in. This is a big guy. And this is going to take a long time. And the chart is... Well, you know me, I really love charts. Some are tiny. I didn't, um, oh, and I got the, the cover and matching bag and a matching small zipper bag from Deanna on Facebook. I will try to link her group. She sells them in sets of three, like the 11 by 11 Grime Guard, the big project bag that it fits into, and then a small little zipper pouch um kind of four by six five by seven inch size that's sparkly and pretty oh it's just it was 25 dollars for the three and like 28 was shipping it's a good deal to me and i like it a lot and i really wanted something christmasy to do with it so there we go um i have not made a working copy of this chart because i have two of him so, I'm just using I'm using a colored pencil on it, which is working well, but 
pictures. But I'll get there. It might be 50, but I'll get there. Okay, so with that, with that, I have my see Lizzie Kate Needlework set of Snow Place One. Snow Place Like Home. So I'm not sure if they're all called Snow Place. If the next one will be Snow Place Two, which should be here in a couple days. But there you go. I'm doing with the recommended threads and fabric. I've got it all together. And here is what I have done so far. Not a whole lot. Because I'm working on f like one, two, three, four Christmas things right now. And I'm trying to rotate between them. And so I just don't feel like I'm getting far on anything. Like I need to go back to doing one project at a time. Get a lot more done that way. Okay, this next one I started and then started over. So I'll explain this. Um, it is Miss Stitchrovia last over Thanksgiving. She had a sale on her charts. I'm going to say they were 50% off. So I'm doing this one. Boy, those things just love to glare, don't they? There you go. Santa Claus is coming to town, okay? So, I don't want to do it on cream. I've got this gorgeous Silk Weaver Ada fabric that's set at 16 count. It's not. It's 18. I counted it. And the holes, the stitches are so... I think it shrunk during dyeing, and it's so tight. I mean, just... And it's hard to see, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's... a Beautiful fabric, and I love with the gold. It looks like a night sky. It's so pretty, but it's so hard to see. And if I don't use really good lighting right on top of it, it's giving me a migraine. So I worked on it for a couple days, you know, maybe two or three hours tops, not long. I'm like I can't do this. I just even in daylight it was hurting my eyes. So I started over today. This is um. Toasted almond, um, 32 Jobelin, hand dyed by Stephanie. I've had this piece, for, I know, over a year. And I've just never, you know, it's just a, it's a very, it's a good fabric. I mean, it's just, you know, I wanted this real pretty. And now I have this huge chunk, well, I have this, which I'll probably unpick. But I've got another piece, because it, it was bigger than a fat quarter. Well, now what am I going to do with it? Try to sell it on Sash and Lou. Got a few more fabrics I'm gonna put on there, I think. I just can't seem to stop. So, with that, I stitch Rovia, and then I'm using the little bag from the other matching set. Okay, and then let me show you the other couple charts I got real quick. I got Love UK. I really like this one because it ch it's got all the countries and I've been to all of them. It's been a while, but I've been there. So, I have that one. And then the Let It Snow. And that one's just. Boy, these things like to glare, don't they? I. Ugh. Trying to get it without. Here we go. Let It Snow. And that's all by Stitch Rovia on Etsy. And normal. Well, regular price is four eighty nine for this one. So when I got them half off, I think I paid I paid seven ninety five for all three. Fabulous, fabulous deal. And then I got some Doreen Jones. I'll show you those three. Here you can see them up close, I think. I think. I got the reindeer, Merry Christmas scene, and the fox. Elizabeth is obsessed with foxes right now, so and then I can't wait. Cannot wait to get started on this one. This is Willy Wonka, the pedal pusher. Love it so much. And I asked her if she would ever do an Outlander chart, and she said she's working on it. <sighs> Cannot wait. If you don't watch Outlander, you need to watch Outlander. Can you believe I just started watching it like three weeks ago? I've read four of the books a couple years ago. 
And they were just so big, I just stopped reading them. But, oh my gosh, this show is so good. So, so good. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got one more project to show a um, whip. And then I have five bits of stash. And then another little craft I'm going to show you that I've been working on for teachers. Um, okay, so for my birthday, I got a new pair of scissors. They were one, two, three stitch. I can't remember what they're actually called. They're like ten bucks, I think. But I really like them. It seems like after a year, my stitch scissors seem to dull down a little bit, where I'm not getting a real good, easy snip with my threads, and I get irritated. So I was really glad that Ben has each year been buying me a new pair of scissors. And then, ah, this was my birthday stuff from my husband and girls. I got Snapdragon. He's a very good shopper. He goes right to my one, two, three stitch wish list. I am so excited to get this one. I have loved her so much, and I think June, this will be my my June start next year. And then, now, little witch baby girl. She's so cute, so cute. He tried to do a little bit of all the an itch holidays for me. And then the Gold Dimensions kit, the Gold Collection, Winter's Hush which I have started, and this is full coverage. There is no empty spots in this thing. And, see the little eye dots? The snow is French knot. I have mastered French knots, finally. It only took 20 years. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do French knots or if I'm going to do beads. But I think I'm, I don't know, what do you think? I think itty bitty little seed beads would look really cute, but maybe I will just do the French knots because it is over stitches already. And they'd probably take about the same amount of time anyway. Okay, so I have got here started. And I have ta da! I've done the chimney. So this is the the lower chimney on the house and up to the top of that roof and over yes yes because this here is the next chimney and then this is the is that called a gable with a little window thing so anyway there's that there's blended threads in there the white is stitched with three strands but I like it. It's fun. It's been fun to work on this. So there's that. Okay. Oh, here's some stash. The single minders piled up. You'll have to remind me or remember yourself. There was a needle minder maker who decided November 1st was going to be her last hurrah that she's going to stop taking orders. So I ordered a few from her for the first time, and I got the November Girl, Princess, Fairy, Fairy, the Fox. Elizabeth is very excited to see the Fox. I got Space, which Abby was glad to see. Oh dang! Oh dang! Rainbow Bright. Because she rocks. And a steampunk kitty. Because he's cute. So cute. Okay, so that was my... Okay, that, that, that. I got a new Ort thread catcher off Etsy. I believe she also sells them on Stash Unload. Um, I want to say $7? 5 7 Um... I've ordered one before from her for the summer, so little red pink snowflakes, super cute. Okay, and I want to show you where that can go. Okay, so yeah, I talked about Outlander, right? Um, Gilmore Girls, mm-hmm, you've all been watching, correct? 
There will be a quiz at the end of the year. Um, so watch all the Gilmore Girls that came out last week. I have like four episodes of Outlander, and then I'm caught up. Caught up. And then I started reading again, because Outlander made me want to start reading, and I found there's an Outlander companion book that my library offers on the Kindle. Or for the the ebook, I'm sure. Um, and it is a summary of the first four books. But each summary, like for the first book, was like 30 pages. The second book was 50. The third book was like 67. And the fourth book, which I just started, I think was about the same, like 70 pages. That's not a summary. <laughs> It's pretty much the story. So, I mean, it, and it even has some excerpts from the book. Um, so it's really interesting, though. But that's caught me back up to where, because I'm like, I know something happens in France, and I couldn't remember what all is going on where. So um, that was nice. Man, there's a lot that goes on in that third book. It's all over the place. Okay, and then I have always, always enjoyed Edward Rutherford. Um, I have read London, Sarum, New York, and I have Ruska and the Forest. I got them on um, eBay, I think. They're big, thick books. But it is will be fully, like the London, is the full history of London in novel form. So it goes, I'm going to say close to 2,000 years worth of history. And you're following like three or four families throughout the ages. And their are descendants. And it's really neat. Um, the New York book is similar. It starts late 1500s, maybe, early 1600s. Um, yeah, it'd have to be after 16, somewhere in the 1600s. Ruska goes all the way back, but I haven't started that yet. Um, the forest is a follow-up of, or a companion to Sarum, which is an area in England. And Sarum started with, um, I want to say cavemen, Neanderthals. I mean, with the first people that ever came over to England from way up. I believe the way they're worded, they came from Norway, Sweden way, down into England, because at the time it all, it touched. Yeah, it's because it was like a bridge, a small area of land they walked across. But anyway, they're good. They're so good. So I've started um, The Forest, which is about um, the new forest in England. So, anyway, God, I love history. I'm such a nerd. And then I have been working on um, teacher gifts for my girls' teachers. Um, I have, okay, a scrapbook you can see in the room. And I have a machine that cuts out anything. And it cuts out vinyl. And I picked up these. They are bread. Mini loafs. Bakeware. Got them from Michael's three years ago, like a quarter each after Christmas. Like clearance down to nothing. I want to say they're originally two or three bucks. So I cut out with a gold glittery vinyl, the teacher's name and the year from the other side. It's a Christmas thing. I'm going to fill them with dove chocolates. So I cut out a different, a couple different. So I do bright a lot, especially with Christmas things, because it's our last name. So, you know, you will see a lot of Mary and Bright, especially on our scrapbook pages. <clears throat> Did believe, and the other teacher's name. And then I think I have, I think, 12 of them. I've got quite a few. I have white ones, too. But they're dishwasher, oven, and microwave safe. I know they're dishwasher safe even with the vinyl because we have some um, water bottles that I have the girls' initials on that have gone through the dishwasher for a couple years now, no problem. I'm going to say I wouldn't put it in the oven. <laughs> I don't know what would happen to the vinyl. But uh, I will let the teachers know that. Let's stick it in there. So that's what I did last night. It was fun. I haven't played with vinyl in a long time. And I like doing that. So that's my... Um, I am hoping to do a Stitch from Stash video in the next... I might do it this week. 
Let's see how the week goes. Last week was kind of crazy. Um, I mean, we got back into it. was nice to have a normal week again to get everybody back to work, back to school. Thanksgiving was over, which was, we did very minimal Thanksgiving. Um, our town does a tree lighting the night before Thanksgiving. We went up to that, and it was 45 degrees out. My magnets were really stuck together. Um, and the girls really like it because Santa shows up, and they like the, oh, my magnet completely came off. That's crap. Anybody want to send me a dab of glue? I haven't bought that glue yet. Gosh dang it. Oh. It still sticks to the bottle cap. Without the glue. So, whatever. That'll work. Um. We went up to that. They do um, the towns on Main Street. The, towns, the small businesses on Main Street. Um, there's like a flower shop and antique shops and uh, a bakery and a diner. They all do free hot chocolate or free cotton candy. Make or, kids can make ornaments. Um, they have someone that they actually bring live reindeer there. There's like four of them, I think, in this big. It's like a horse trailer, but they have the side of it fully opened up and exposed so kids can see the reindeer, and they're just in there eating hay, again. the kids are all excited, and, you know, they're tied down so they can't fly away. Um, I love seeing the reindeer, though. They're so pretty. But then they have um, a train, and a kid's train, and a little fire truck thing for kids to ride in. It's like 10 kids or something. And there's a little, the Boy Scouts do, like, three or four fire pits up and down the street, and... I mean, we're, it's a small town. There's 5,500 people, and our main street is a is your typical almost Gilmore girl kind of main street, but without the square. Our square is our courthouse and the big trees, but it's very pretty. Um, we have the prettiest courthouse in Missouri. It was been declared that like, many years ago, so it's a beautiful courthouse. Um, so we did that night before Thanksgiving, and then we just went to my brothers and his family. They moved back from the East Coast. They wanted to do dinner at their house. I'm like, fine by me. So we just went there for a couple hours. The kids played with their cousins and ran wild. And we ate and talked and came home. And, and then I don't think I went anywhere except the grocery store. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. It was nice. So nice to just stay home. So, yeah. Got them back to school this week. And back into it so they're calling for snow here Wednesday um, one to three inches I think as of now but 70% chance of course that's the day my husband's getting his mother out of a rehab center and taking her back home um, it was for him she's not not a drug addict um, she's in her 80s and broke a bone by her hip where she has a hip replacement so she's been in a rehab facility at a nursing home for three weeks but he's got to get her out that morning and take her home, come back, and it's supposed to start snowing in the morning. Abby gets out of school early that day, and so she'll be home by 2. We're then going to the dentist for the family teeth cleanings. We may not be going if it's snowing. I'm not driving, because it's almost 30 minute drive to our dentist. And no, no. And I haven't driven in this car in the snow yet, and uh, I did contact a friend, though, that has the same car and said, okay, what am I are we good in the snow? Because, I mean, it's an SUV. It's a big SUV, but I haven't driven this one in the snow, and she's, we're good. So, that's nice to know. But, okay, so, it's kind of chilly down here. Um, so, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. It's been great seeing everybody's videos, um, watching everybody, you know, chit-chat and talk about their Stitch from Stash plans for next year. I am going to, again, do a video in the next week or so, um, I've got plans as far as wits that I have, and I think I'm going to kit up a couple new things too, especially when I do and try, try, try and do some smaller charts that I can use some of my, um, variegated threads on. I've got a lot. I have a container full of 
the Gast and Weak Thy Works and Victoria Motto, and they're not getting used. And that's a lot of money just sitting there. So I'm going to try and get through those. And I'm going to go through my stash again and put more stuff on Stash Unload this week. Um, I got rid of a bunch of stuff last month or October. But I found a lot more down here that I forgot about. And I just have too much. It's just too much. So, And I've still got more fabrics. Got a lot of hand dyed fabrics that I'm just don't see myself ever knowing if I'm ever going to use them. So why hold on to them? You know, why just sit there and I don't know. I'm sure they fall apart at some point, 100 years away. But anyway, that's that. Um, hope you're all having a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Stop. Come on. I can get this. <laughs> That's just crazy.